to the Natural Curiosity Community. I am so glad that you're here. Today is a special treat. My dear friend, Leela Donaldson, is here, and let's all welcome her. Leela Donaldson. <laughs> It's so fantastic to see you. How are you? I'm wonderful, Marion, and it's great to see you too. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome, everybody. We want to encourage you and inspire you to live a more flexible life. That's what it's all about. We don't, we're no longer willing to take it when they tell us we have to be there at 9 and leave at 5 and we have to go to rush hour traffic. And No. We don't we do want that. A much more flexible life than that, don't we, Leela? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're here to do to help everybody live a more healthier, happier, more flexible life. And Leela Donaldson was one of the people that I picked out. I had her name on my list of people that I was going to ask, could you come on and let's talk about how not only do you have a flexible work life, but you also help your clients live a more peaceful, helpful, uh, more tech, technology driven, web based, and all the good stuff that helps us live a more flexible life, right? Absolutely. Yes, I do. <sighs> Makes you feel good, doesn't it? It really does. I, uh, you know, since I left corporate America, um, I am so much less stressed. I love the fact that I can work wherever I am. Uh, whenever I choose, um, and I don't have to adhere to business hours, or like you said, get in all that morning traffic, um, and all the stuff that goes with that. Yes, and there is, um, there is a certain population that is fine with that, and I am not discounting that. If, you, if that's what you really love, and that's your way of, you know, making your life the most uh, productive, happy, and, um, and gives you what you're looking for, then that's fine. But for the rest of us who don't want that lifestyle anymore, we're looking for tools, we're looking for tips, and we're looking for resources that can help us move faster in that direction. So, Leela, sometimes people that will be watching us um, are just starting to think about how they can have a more flexible life. Some people are already living it and they want to see more people. They want to, they want to join our community because, you know, they're already living it and they want to, they want to, you know, meet other people that are too. So we have a wide variety of people that are watching this channel. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but I think that for most of us, we're still looking for more flexibility. So let's get right into it, shall we? And I'm going to start asking you some good questions. Okay, go for it. So Leela, how did we meet? I met you uh, when you had a group called uh, Referral Business Builders, RBB, and um, met a great group of people there who were mostly living entrepreneurial, uh, flexible lives. And then you also uh, did a class on how to create uh, websites using WordPress. And I attended uh, your class and learned a lot there and just recently revitalized that blog, as a matter of fact. That's right. That, man, that was, a, that was many years ago. It, I, yeah. I'm <laughs> sure how many. <laughs> when blogging was brand new. <laughs> yeah. We sure thought it was. <laughs> we did, didn't we? Um, I started blogging before they even came up with the word blog. I found a site uh, when I had my IT company called Live Journal. Do you remember Live Journal? I do, uh, uh, Marion. I remember Live Journal. I used to visit that site periodically. Yeah. Uh -huh. And thought it was, oh, how cool. I worked from home. Gosh, I've been working from home for like 30 years. I worked from home and it was my only connection to people was on live journal. This is before Facebook and all that. <laughs> right, right. And um, I didn't realize what I was doing, but I was blogging every single day. I was talking about what was happening in my life and I was meeting friends and we had our own Facebook type of thing going on. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and to, to make a picture show up, we actually had to use HTML. I mean, 
I'm talking a long time ago, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it did teach me what people are interested in, what they want to respond to, you know, what we're attracting people. It did teach me quite a bit about blogging before you know, we learned about blogging. And then once uh, I started my web design company, uh, I thought, wow, this thing called WordPress allows us to have our own. We don't have to rely on live journal whether they're they're up or not today. Right. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> we can do our own. So I was so glad to see you in one of the classes. Uh, we both used each other's services. The first time you told me about your Google suites, uh, your, the information that you could, you know, not only share with us but actually get us on for our business we hired you so um, I want to talk about that a little bit where did you start where are you now and where are you going in the future Marion to tell you the truth I actually my uh, background is heavily telecommunications which um, got me interested in um, technology and the telephone systems became more and more computers that simply switched voice, which was a, a huge change. And I, I actually went through that entire transition. So that's where I started. I still do a lot of that, by the way. Um, I did American Airlines all of 2015 for one of the companies that hired me. So I have extensive experience there. But I started with Google uh, doing G Suites um, because. I decided when I was going to go out on my own and start my own training business, training for telephone systems, um, that I needed a website. And me being me, I decided, well, I have to figure out how to do all of this on my own. So um, I figured out how to do a website, um, but then I didn't have email. I did get a domain name. And what I was building at that time was a Weebly website, which is a you familiar with them? Yes. So, like, like Wix or Homestead. Right. I like Weebly better. I think that they're much more, um, they have more options, uh, but that's just a personal choice. So, I'm not putting anything down. Uh, although, I guess I just kind of did, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the intention. Um, but at any rate, Weebly did not host your email. So, they would tell you go to do G Suites. So, I went over to G Suite, I was on Yahoo or something at the time, and I figured out how to do it, and it was, you know, it was like a trial by fire, it was a, a very painful experience, but that painful experience taught me how to do it, and once I did it, and I saw, oh my God, look what you get, and at that time, it was free, Marion, it was free. So and I, looked, I can't believe they can give you all of this free. I had domain name email. I could have multiple users, which meant I could have things like info at leladonaldson.com, for example. Um, I could have, you could add agents if you have people that work in other cities and you want to be able to have some control over that email so that if things don't work out or if they decide to leave or, you know, whatever happens, you can lock them out and then you can uh, keep all of those emails and that they uh, were sending so you don't lose that um, so you have total administrative control it's it's kind of like I always say it's like having a Microsoft server without the cost of the server itself which could be anywhere from six to ten thousand dollars and more uh, and without the cost of having to have um, IT help uh, on contract so because all you have just pick the phone and call Google and they'll help you through any you can call Google Google <laughs> right if you're on G suites yes there's a 24 7 number that you can call and they will uh, they'll help you with any issue that you're having and I find that they're really really good Wow that reminds me of you know, calling Google. Sorry, I, I really, <laughs> for some reason, my brain went to Alexa. You know, when you, when you say right. Alexa or Hey Google, right. some, something answers, right? Well, my niece's name is Alexa. 
Oh and my, my family is getting a big kick out of that. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> so every time they call her Alexa answers. <laughs> yes. And then not, you know, you can change the name. I think there's three things you can call it and they won't do it because they just love to tease her. I think it's mean. <laughs> But so you can call Google for real, like you can pick up the phone and someone will answer. Yeah, 24 seven. Wow. They, have, um, they have the option you can, you know, go to help and look things up. And, and a lot of the time you can solve it that way, or you can do chat, or you can actually just call them. And if you're, um, and it'll give you a pin number, it rings, someone answers. And again, I, I find that they are always uh, knowledgeable, and helpful for every um, issue I've ever needed to get help with. Now you know why I picked up the phone and called Leela when we wanted email through Google. <laughs> she knows. All right. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and tell us more. So, and then from there I was doing uh, workshops, particularly when it was free, because I wanted to share this wonderful thing that uh, is G Suites. That's what it's now called. I think at the time they just called it Google Docs email or, or something like that. But I wanted to share that with all the other entrepreneurs out there. Look what you can get for free. And not only do you get, you know, email and control of your email and control of your contacts and a calendar where you can do calendar sharing and you can have multiple calendars and um, just a myriad of, of things like that you could do. I can have a personal calendar, I can have a business calendar, uh, and I can see them all on one calendar if I want or not, my choice. Um, but also, through the years, what's evolved too, Marion, that I really use a lot is through the Google uh, web market, I think it's called, um, all the plugins that you can get that just plug right in to your email. My CRM is just a plugin. It's just right there. It has my tasks. Uh, it reminds me of things. Um, I have it created a special calendar for itself on my, uh, on my G, G Suites. Um, so I can do that. There's Flash Issue. That's also a plugin that just right there from your uh, desktop when you're in your email, you can create a newsletter. Um, and there are just many, many, many more um, options that you can get through, through the uh, Google Web Store. So there, there are those options. And of course, there's Google Docs, which um, you know, has a, a business suite that is maybe a little more stripped down than you might use uh, or with Microsoft. But you can save in Microsoft format. Um, on the G Suite docs. You can also publish in EPUB format, which a lot of people didn't know. Um, and there are just so many things that you can do with it. It's this wonderful, wonderful tool. And I just feel like I want to go out there and tell the world. Well, we want you to tell us. We want that workshop. <laughs> where, where, where are you going to be? Is it going to be online, a webinar? What are you going to do? Tell us. Well, you know, I'm, I'm going to put one together. I'm kind of working on that now. Um, I'll touch base with you. Okay, and good. Let you know when I do that. I think a webinar might be the best way to go, which also, too, speaking of webinars, Google Hangouts. You can do screen sharing and talk and do a total webinar from Google Hangouts. All of this is part of, of what Google is doing, and they are to some extent, I think, supplanting, um, not to some extent, to me, to a major extent, these very expensive other things that, you know, we could purchase. Um, yes, I have Microsoft Office, Microsoft 365, um, but I, Google Drive I use all the time so that I have cloud storage. Um, my experience kind of was that 365, because I've been doing this for so long, appears to have sort of patterned after Google as opposed to the other way around. That's just my biased, I, I admit it, opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and lots of other ones are. So um, if I did a Google 101, which is what I'd kind of like to do, where I just kind of walk you through, 
look at all of the things that you get and we could look at, you know, hangouts. We could look at uh, the millions of wonderful plugins that you can get. Um, just so many options. I, I get tongue-tied thinking about them all. I, I totally get that. I'm, it's so <laughs> exciting. So for those people who want to, say, move into your own business and be web-based so that you can be flexible in your travel, you can work from anywhere that you have internet, this is a fantastic opportunity to right. plug in to Leela Donaldson because she is excited, as you can tell, about sharing this information. And if you need extra help, I'm sure she's available for hire. Is that I, right? Uh, that would be correct. Okay. <laughs> okay. I do. I, I, in fact, I have moved several um, small businesses with, you know, from five to ten employees over um, to, to Google Suites, G Suites for Business. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody from just the smallest entrepreneur or solopreneur up to uh, companies now they even have an enterprise um, option so uh, fortune 500 companies could use it if they wanted to so it's it's they're really this is really a robust um, meaty valuable tool that's just there and the cost is so low Marion, it's five dollars per user per year no per month take it. yeah per year that's right sixty dollars a year that's right wow yeah that's really good yeah that's sixty dollars really a year yeah that i had to stop and think so that, no maybe it's really five dollars and then i go no no five dollars <laughs> yeah it's five dollars that's nothing right it's for all that that you get from google and you get your your email with your company name on it and everything yeah Right, and you can also, if you have employees or if you have contract employees, um, you can do Google Voice so that you can give them a phone number and it has an app for your phone. Um, and then again, like I said, if, if that relationship should dissolve with that agent for some reason, whatever the reason may be, you can lock all of that out and keep it all of the contacts everything so again it's like having your own Microsoft server that's great well you will let us know as soon as that's available for us because we are standing in line already I want to be the first so don't forget about me I will okay so now we've talked about what you did in the past what you're doing now and and we sort of kind of touched on your future but do you, you have other things in the works for your future um, I am, Marion. I'm, I'm working on an ebook about Google, <laughs> of course. Um, and I'm going to be, my husband is going to retire in July, so we will be traveling more. And at least he's promised me we have, so we better. And the wonderful thing is, I don't have to lose any business. I don't have to lose touch with what I'm doing. You know, at night in the hotel, I can pull out my laptop, hook up and work on whatever I want to work on. Um, those, are, those are actually my plans at the time right now. I was at one time thinking of moving up to Ohio, but uh, luckily we're not going to do that. It's too cold, way too cold. So that has changed. I can see that. <laughs> you probably wouldn't last long. I mean, you know, we do live here in the Houston area where it's summer all year round, except for this year. Uh, our winter was cold, and I talked about this uh, on our last uh, video. I think the Houston area really needed to rest. The land needed to rest. The people needed to rest. So we had very little sun. It was rainy and just chilly, and uh, I won't say cold because, you know, people that are <laughs> living in Ohio, they think cold is cold, and it really is. Uh, but I think we just needed a rest. And That's a good way to look at it. Mm -hmm. um, I hadn't thought of it that way, but I, I will tell you that, that during that time frame when it was so very, very cold, um, I did just, um, I do a co-work at, at TechSpace, um, but... I also have a home office and I, I did just sort of retreat home and basically, you know, worked from uh, my bed with a 
you know, a server tray thing that you serve breakfast on with my dog during that period. So that's the wonderful thing about it. You can do stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Very flexible. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you coming on today. I appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to not only hang out with us, but to teach us some things and to get us excited about all the things that we can do uh, as we move into a more flexible life. Because even though if someone in corporate America were to look at my life, they'd say I'm already there. I want to do more. I want to travel more. I right. want So everything I do is web-based now. I have a laptop. I don't have a, 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 you know, anything plugged into something that's you know, stable and steady. Right. I, use, I use servers out there somewhere in the cloud. <laughs> right. Right. I remember when you first started talking about that because your website is tipsinthecloud.com. Right, right. And I remember thinking, now, what do they mean by that? I literally, I mean, I'm, I'm an IT gal, and I thought, in the cloud, in the cloud, what? I knew it wasn't like in the cloud, but right. I didn't understand what that meant. You know? Why are you telling us it's in the cloud? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, Tips from the Cloud is, is still my blog, and I've changed the focus of it a little bit. At the time that I originally uh, did Tips from the Cloud, um, there were issues between, with mobile apps and your laptop, and as, particularly if you were um, doing Apple, because Apple and, and Google were not happy with each other at the time they were in a lawsuit. So they were, I, I really focused on workarounds and that kind of thing, and now a lot of that has been solved as soon as that lawsuit it was solved then that was it they Google started releasing apps and uh, that you can use on your iPhone and so on so that was all solved so now my blog is really just a blog about um, useful help and tips and information for how we work today and everything from um, Shane did an article for me on uh, stress relief um, Errol Allen did an article for me on customer service. Um, so I'm getting other people to, to do articles as well. Yes. And I'm really enjoying the blog. <laughs> I bet. Yes, and I'm going to be writing a blog post for you on uh, why you should have your own website in your own name. Exactly. Like you Great. own it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get it. Yes, yes. I'll get started on that right away, Leela. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, thanks a lot. Again, I really appreciate you. And uh, I hope that we can actually meet somewhere and do another interview somewhere else talking about your webinar when you get it up. I would love to do that, Marion. I would. Yes. And, and I do want to work on the webinar and I might even want to consult with you a little bit on that. So well, um, same here, same here. Yes. I would, I would like to use more of the Google services. Um, I do pay the $5 a month for agency to 58. Uh, but for painted path design, you got us on when it was free and it, it's still grandfathered in. So I don't know what the, you know, what the differences are there. We might have to talk about that. Um, right, right. But, uh, one of the things that I really want to get across in this particular community is that we will be having get togethers. So you might be able to meet Leela in person someday. So be sure and ring the bell, and I'll talk to you about that in a little bit, Leela. Uh, Leela said she couldn't find the bell on her phone. So I'm, I'm looking into that as we, as we, you know. I think I found it on my laptop, though. So I, I, clicked it and it said it would send me the notifications. So, okay. Yeah. So what, um, what I'm asking you to do, uh, as the people that are watching this at home or in your office or on your phone is to please like it just like on Facebook, you know, there's a little thumbs up like us and make a comment and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified when we have new videos and you'll get notified if we're going to have an event in your area. All right, so until next time, go out and do something fun today. And thanks again, Layla. Thank you, Marion. Bye-bye. Bye for now. <laughs> Ta-ta, Afin. <laughs> Ta-ta, Afin? Uh, yeah, T-T-F-N, that's what the... <laughs> I'm sorry, Winnie the Pooh. Bye-bye. <laughs>